वेलकम टू माई यूट्यूब चैनल सी बी एस सी कोर्सेज विद रीति टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट विद द टॉपिक द डस्ट ऑफ स्नो दैट इज द पोम ऑफ योर इंग्लिश चैप्टर जस्ट सेकेंड लेट मी ओके नाउ द डस्ट ऑफ स्नो बाय रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट रॉबर्ट फ्रॉस्ट इज अ वेरी रिनाउंड पोएट एंड इन आर सिलेबस वी आर गोइंग टू रीड टू ऑफ इज वेरी realistic poems first is dust of snow and the second one is the fire and the ice but let us first start with the dust of snow by robert frost dust of snow just a second okay as you can see what do you understand by dust of snow what do you understand by the term dust of snow so dust of snow means particles of snow or you can say is small particles of snow this whole poem is about poet who was in a very bad mood he was in a bad mood but due to this dust of snow the small particles of snow there is some change in his attitude and that's what we are going to look forward in the poem first let us read before that you can see glossary here hemlock is a poisonous plant with small white flowers hemlock is a tree that have some poisonous it's a poisonous plant but it has beautiful white flowers rued means held in regret rued means held in regret okay Now, the way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow from a hemlock tree. First, this four paragraphs. The way a crow shook down on me, the dust of snow means there was some crow, and he was on a hemlock tree. A crow on a hemlock tree shook means due to the movement of crow, some part of snow fell on. the poet me here refers to poet the way a crow shook down on me the dust of snow from a hemlock tree in this whole paragraph we are able to understand that the poet was moving forward and there was some crow on a hemlock tree and due to his movement a small particles of snow fell on the poet now the last four lines has given my heart a change of mood and save some part of the day i had viewed has given my heart a change of mood this is very important how previously poet was in a bad mood but now because of the crow and uh, how he made of particles of snow fall on the poet now he is feeling his mood different before the poet was sad but now he realized that pura din the way he was upset and sad now it's not like that and he have actually saved some part that he held in regret let us suppose let us try to imagine that the poet had some hard day in his office and he was very sad and when he was going somewhere he passed through hemlock trees now hemlock trees what a poisonous plant and on a hemlock tree there was a crow due to his movement the small particles of snow fell on the poet now the poet feels that this act this whole act as said in the four, first four paragraphs has given a change of mood to him now he is feeling a little different from what he was feeling before maybe before if he was in a bad mood feeling upset so now he is feeling that of the whole day that had been so rough for him and he held it in regret now he have saved some part means now the agar full day me se if he had wasted this much of the time so now he can utilize this time okay i hope this is clear this is not a very hard poem not very hidden meanings but a simple beautiful poem okay and the name goes like dust of snow because why the name is dust of snow because because of this dust of snow he felt a change of mood because of dust of snow he felt a change of mood
Okay. Now, I hope this is clear. Let me tell you in a Hindi once. तो पोएट जो था वो एक खराब मूड में था एंड वो हेमलॉक ट्री के पास से गुजर रहा था और उसी समय क्रोस व्हाट दे डू दे सेट ऑन द प्लांट तो क्रो जो था हेमलॉक ट्री पे था और उसके कुछ मूवमेंट की वजह से डस्ट ऑफ स्नो स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स ऑफ स्नो पोएट पे गिर गए नाउ वो पोएट को रियलाइज होता है कि पहले तो उसका मूड खराब था वो अपसेट था बट इस एक्ट ऑफ क्रो की वजह से उसको अच्छा फील हो रहा है और उसको अचानक से रियलाइज होता है कि मैंने जो पूरा दिन दुख ये पूरे दिन में से जो कुछ पार्ट मैंने बिता दिए दुख में शायद अब कुछ पार्ट मेरा बचा है जब मैं अच्छे से को अपना यूटिलाइज कर सकता हूँ इस दिन को दैट वॉट द पोम इज ऑल अबाउट बट फॉर बेटर अंडरस्टैंडिंग वी आर गोइंग टू लुक फॉर फॉर समरी ऑफ दी पोम समरी इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट यू आर अपेयरिंग फॉर क्लास टेंथ board exams and they will not ask you rate retai questions they will try to use they will try to test your understanding even of this poem also they will not ask that how the dust of snow fell on the poet and you will answer crow it's not going to be like that okay so you need to understand each of the thing the summary is written by me you can take a screenshot and uh, during your exams or once in a week you can just go through this summary so i always you are able to answer any question related to the topic the poem is about a wintry day as we can see we are talking about snow here so obviously it's about wintry day when poet poet is in a bad mood was passing through a hemlock tree as i have told you it's a poisonous plant here also i have written a conifer conifer means this kind of plant this ke yahan pe it makes a cone kind of shape so a conifer associated with omen and poisonous qualities omen means something bad luck you can say bad luck the crow was sitting on it and it, a sudden movement of crow made particles of snow fall on the poet this simple si baat right that the crow was sitting on a hemlock tree and uh, he moved a bit and obviously yahan pe let's say if there is a snow here piled up and a crow moves a bit so the snow will fall down and that what happened it to fall on the poet this gave a change of heart unexpectedly the poet was in a bad mood but now because of the snow fell on the poet he this gave it him a change of heart before poet was gloomy and in despairing despairing means this dis, uh, depressing mood but this simple act gladdens his heart means makes him happy he realized that this saved a part of the day that was ruined he realized what that of the whole day which he spent being gloomy and in despairing mood the, that it has been saved now and he can utilize the day to some other work the dust of snow make him comprehend comprehend means understand comprehend that the whole day hasn't been ruined the dust of snow the small particles of snow that fell on the poet made him understand that the whole day hasn't been ruined it was only a part of day that was ruined now going to the central idea the central idea of the poem dust of snow now mind the central idea is important the most important thing okay it's the central idea is the most important because they can ask you directly in your board exam that what is the central idea of the dust of snow they can ask you what the poet is trying to make us understand by dust of snow they can frame the question like they can frame like what do poet make trying to make sorry let me erase this part what do poet trying to make us understand or the question can be like what is the central idea 
and this is not only for this poem but for each and every then what's what is the main topic or they can say learning of poem uh, or they can say any of the question any question can be made that will be related to central idea of the poem and this is not only for the poem desktop snow but for any poem poem they can ask this is by robert frost you must remember the poet name is very important it can come as an mcq for one marks but each mark in board exam is very important now the central idea of the poem does not know by poet robert frost is to express the significance of small thing in changing in one's attitude now the central idea is that how the small things can make us make us feel different how it can change our attitude it was all about that let me dub it Hmm. Okay. Now, like in the poem "Dust of Snow," you can see it is not very symbol or symbolizing anything or anything like that, but it changed the mood of the poet, right? it changed the mood of the poem so robot uh, the central idea of the poem dust of snow by poet robert frost is to express the significance of small things in changing in one's attitude it the rob, the poet itself tries to make us comprehend try to make us understand that how small thing how little things in our life that we don't even understand we don't really focus on actually can change our attitude the poet represents the nature in its raw and natural form now what do you mean by that raw and natural form means he's not saying that they are very beautiful flowers around me they are butterflies they're birds singing humming and it feels very beautiful he's not saying that he's presenting the nature as it is means in its raw raw means as it is without glorifying it in its natural form like in winters you did snow all the way as far as you can see and he's not saying that snow was falling on the earth and it looked pretty it looked like pearl he didn't use any kind of this language but he just said about the nature as it is you can just think how common it is that a crow is sitting on some plant on some tree yeah it's very common right now this is very important it's quite ironical ironical means me uh how to explain let me just try to explain by the further line that both hemlock tree and crow which are considered in auspicious in auspicious means as i said you bad luck so in your house also you will listen to your mother your parents grandparents saying that crow is brings bad luck we don't find crow very attractive or auspicious we consider crow as inauspicious similarly hemlock tree has poisonous qualities and we consider it as inauspicious as well also when crow sings it doesn't sound very nice we never say that crow looks so pretty and beautiful right every time we say crow is irritating its voice is irritating it's so ugly right now the poet is trying to try it to make us understand that how hemlock tree and crow and it's quite ironical because it's in auspicious it brings bad luck but even so we consider hemlock tree and crow to be in auspicious it serve to bring cheerfulness cheerfulness means happiness to the mood and gladness means makes him happy over the moon the heart of the poet okay it's quite ironical that both hemlock tree and crow which are considered in auspicious serve to bring cheerfulness to the mood and gladdens the heart of the poet 
hence hence it throws light upon unimaginable healing power of nature unimaginable healing power of nature now i can say the whole poem was about this only the whole poem was about this only the unimaginable healing power of nature how the small things in our life like dust of snow crow hemlock tree birds we don't really understand that how this can change our attitude towards seeing things right and robert frost actually used something like hemlock tree and crow which are ugly which does not look pretty it's not attractive and actually it is considered to be inauspicious but still he says that this inauspicious things also bring cheerfulness bring happiness to us what he is trying to say is nature is the most beautiful thing most extraordinary thing that can heal us even without us realizing it power of nature is something we can't imagine it's unimaginable healing power of nature we are talking here about so if they say that what robert frost is trying to convey you can explain this whole thing and in last you can conclude saying that it throws light upon the imaginable unimaginable healing power of nature that how we consider this hemlock tree this crow or even the birds or anything they can actually bring happiness to us or they can heal something in our hearts okay they can change our attitude so the whole poem the dust of snow was to make us understand that how beautiful the nature is how beautiful the nature is and okay and it is very special it's extraordinary it's magnificent it's ma- it's fabulous that it can heal healing something is not very easy but nature has this power to heal and this was the whole central idea of the chapter dust of snow let me do a quick recap the dust of snow is a poem about a wintry day when poet in a bad mood was passing through hemlock tree there due to sudden movement of crow some part of snow fell on him this unexpectedly gave him a change of heart it gladdens his heart and makes him realize that not whole day has been ruined and he can utilize the remaining time okay and the central idea of the poem dust of snow by robert frost is to express the significance of small thing in changing in one's attitude the poet represents the nature in its raw and natural form it's quite ironical that both hemlock tree and crow which are considered inauspicious serve to bring cheerfulness to the mood and gladdens the heart of the poet hence it throws light upon the unimaginable healing power of nature if you want to take screenshot please do take this is the first light this is the second light moreover i will tell you that just write it down because once you write now it will be registered in your mind and then you don't have to worry about reading it again and again because writing is the best way to memorize anything although if you understand it by heart you don't need to use the exact words of mine but you need to focus on your vocabulary okay okay now we have some questions here let me make it bigger so that it's visible to you all and oh okay i guess i did something wrong here let me erase it i just wanted to erase okay all clean let me now thinking about the poem the poem presents a moment that seems simple but has a larger significance as we have discussed compare the other quotation about from robert frost always always a larger significance so let us 
ओके सो दिस इज अ होमवर्क थिंग वॉट इज अ डस्ट ऑफ स्नो वॉट डज द पोएट से हैज चेंज हिज मूड हाउ हैज द पोएट मूड चेंज्ड सो डस्ट ऑफ स्नो इज नथिंग बट स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स ऑफ स्नो जस्ट राइट इट डाउन स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स ऑफ स्नो लेट मी राइट डाउन हेयर अगेन ए स्मॉल पार्टिकल्स ऑफ स्नो इज नोन एज डस्ट ऑफ स्नो वॉट डज द पोएट से हैज चेंज हिज मूड सो यू विल एक्सप्लेन एवरी थिंग दैट द सिंपल एक्ट यू विल राइट the simple act of crow that is falling of particles of snow you can write of dust of snow changed his mood how has the poet's mood changed so you can actually write from the summary itself that the not the whole thing but the from the crow was sitting on it and sudden movement of crow made particles of snow fall this gave a cha- change of heart unexpectedly you will write this much this is enough okay now coming back here okay this one is done second oh what is this okay second how does frost present nature in this poem The following questions may help you think of an answer. What are the birds that are usually named in poems? Do you think a crow is often mentioned in poem? What images come to your mind when you think of a crow? Again, what is a hemlock tree? Why doesn't the poet write about the beautiful trees such as maple or an oak or a pine? What do the crow and hemlock represent? Joy or sorrow? What does the dust of snow that the crow seeks of a hemlock tree stand for? Okay. So, what do you think? Frost present nature in it. raw form he does not glorify anything about the nature he didn't mention the birds such as beautiful birds or the beautiful trees such as maple oak or pine because he wanted to show set a mood of depression or sorrow hemlock tree is a plant with poisonous qualities and both hemlock tree and crow is is rep- Uh, it's a sign of inauspicious omen but the poet tries to make us understand that how nature in its any form can heal us and small and he tries to tell us the significance of small things in our life have there been times where you felt depressed or hopeless have you experienced a small, similar moment that change your mood that day now this is a question you have to do by yourself but i'll just give you one example how you can frame that yes once i was very really depressed because i didn't score very well in my maths exam but and i was no let me frame it again yes once i was very really depressed because i didn't score well in my maths exam i was just sitting in my balcony thinking how should i improve and was very really upset but suddenly i heard a bird singing beautifully i was distracted to it and soon realized that i am no more sad and this is how a bird helped me to change my mood that day you can consider any of your real or not so real one here okay so we are done with it the dust of snow this slide is the most important one please remember it i am telling you this will help you turn it will help you a lot in your exam point of view okay so i hope we are done here i hope you like my video if you do so do like subscribe share my channel also ring the bell hang button so you will get all the notifications of my channel till then bye bye have a great day ahead do like subscribe share my channel also ring the bell hang button so you will get all the notifications of my channel till then bye and have a wonderful day ahead